Okay, <clears throat> that's where we've just come from, up there and up there, and now we're here, the old uh, Tumban Historic Walk. Here's uh, this for you, push pause and hopefully you can read that, and we'll head down. Okay, so we've got 45 minutes. Probably take longer than that, but as you can Power. see, first thing is another old boiler, Stop. which always seem to be everywhere. Wherever you go in the mining areas, you see the boilers. All right, so let's start walking and let us see what we can find. So we are still walking, we're about three or four minutes into the trip. This is the sort of scenery we're seeing. Down here, and if you have a look over here, down there, a bit of metal. In the uh, well, river, or water race. I guess we're going to see a lot of those sort of things down through here, as this was the area of some quite active mining okay okay we're still walking Spencer's just spotted a little bit of metal something down here in the race I don't know if you'll be able to see it probably not and as you can see here the track we're walking along is what would be known as a pack track so these were carved out by the miners so they could get easy access to the mines and to where they were going and supplies. As you can see, this is actually a quite significant carved track, which does make our walking down here a lot easier. And as you can see over here, there's a lot of flat areas all along up here. There's a lot of little flat areas. Mines. Well, not necessarily mines, but it's where people did their huts would have lived. Back in the day, as you can see here, that structure's been built up along here to basically, I'm assuming, direct the water. Okay, we will uh, keep going. Okay, so where Spencer is is where we've come down. Right. Here's an interesting site. This is the old pub that used to be here. Somebody here. It burnt down in 1939 then burnt down again in 19... Correction, 2013. I've forgotten its name, but look, I'll put a description underneath and let you know. It's privately owned. Burnt down twice? Yep. So yeah. So that's just down below us. As you can see, there's a nice water race below us with all that nice structure. That's a shame it burnt down though. There's the chimneys. They still stand. There's Amazing. Over there. Oh yes, and over there as well. Okay, we shall continue on our journey along this well-made pack track. All right, here we are. We have a house site. There was an ore shoot that we couldn't find. As you can see here, so someone was living here. And if we keep going around the track just a little bit further. There's another house site. Okay, here we are, another house site. In here, normally you see chimneys surviving, but no, it's not much in here. You can see a nice cutout, nice big flat area. They would have put their house all those years ago. All right, right now we're making quite a uh, steep descent into this valley. It's pretty. All right, here we are. If you look just below us here, obviously you can see a river, but just below us here is a water race. We use to funnel water to the mines. So we're heading quite steep track at the moment down to this valley. In a minute we'll come around this corner you'll see a chimney. And this is quite slippery so I'm glad I'm wearing good hiking shoes. For what they're worth. We can go down the water race. But this is the water race. We'll just walk quickly along it and have a quick look. We also saw a big chimney. And so yeah, as you can see, it runs off into the distance. Again, Miners have managed to dig this out, put it on the right gradient, so the water actually flows. And have a look at the valley down below us. 
unbelievably spectacular I must say awesome all right now we're gonna head down further apparently there's a heap of mining relics and chimneys so we'll head down there and have a look okay basic where we are at the moment the track ends so we're not actually going to get any further but you need to have a look down there massive massive boiler it's obviously a way down there which we will get to on the way back i think that's the blacksmith one. yeah there's some tanks down there here's a massive ore chute here where the ore would have come down here as you can see there we we're just up above it there there's the chimney i told you about there and yeah that is unbelievable so we're going to be heading down there hopefully we'll get down there shortly there's obviously a track down there if we just go over and have a look here have a look at that structure just below us massive all right that is unbelievable awesome there's lots of relics down there so yeah looking forward to getting down there all right so we're now headed to the haunted homestead so here we are we're now at the what is called the haunted uh, homestead look at that pretty much what was left of it certainly a lot of relics in that left here that's a Meta's brothers Patented oven or improved oven, I think it says. The bed. Someone slept on that once upon a time, many, many years ago. Fire. Some people come here and camp or cook or whatever. Apparently, it is haunted. I have. Been told it's definitely not a place you want to come here at night. So it really depends on you and who you are. And just for the record, where we've come from, I'll show you. Come through here. Oh, yeah, look at that drain. It's the old drain. That's what we've come from. This is their backyard, eh? At one point, there's another drain over there. So you can see it embedded into the ground there. Right, we've been up there. Let's see, yeah, that's about it. Which is up there. So we've just come from to walk back and go back around. So uh, then we get to those relics we've seen earlier. That's amazing. All right, so we've come back from the haunted house and we found this, an ore dump. So lucky I kept the loom cubes on the um, GoPro. GoPro, we wouldn't be going in here. So basically what would happen, somewhere up above, they carved a hole into the ground. They came down to here and they would then dump all the ore down it. Underneath would be the uh, tram cars. The little uh, ore things you often see. And as you can see, she is well and truly clogged up. Interesting, I guess. So, that all. Hey? Oh, yeah, you got the rails, but the rails. Oh, they're there. But the rails are just strips of, uh, strips of um, metal on wood. Basically how they did it when they were doing it on the cheap. All right, we shall continue. That's Ben. Hi, Ben. Hi. Look at that. I think we've come in the wrong way, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So we'll work our way around it. So you got some massive ex ex excavation here. Here's the boiler. Wow, that's impressive. There's a ch oh, that's the chimney to the boiler all the way up there. And once we get to the other side, you'll see all the other relics from the stamper, stamp mill. Okay, here we are again. I'll turn these right up and see if we can get any better in there. So there's inside a massive boiler. 
How exciting. So obviously the water jackets are around it, but I don't know. I'm not sure how this one worked. Water must be just around it. That's it. There's no doesn't look any oh the pipes may have been pulled out. Who knows? I'm sure someone will know. They can let us know. Right, let's keep looking around. So oh, over here. The old stamper was over here. As you can see, there's a, sh a load of uh, relics. Look at that construction, that boiler. Unbelievable. That's a stamper site just there, which we're going to have a look at in a sec. Right, as you can see here, got lots of relics. Just sitting alongside this boiler. Wow. Have a look at some of that. Look at that metal work. That is some big, big metal work. We'll come across further. Look up there, there's our chimney. I love that chimney. Although it's just sitting up there. Along here, along here. All right, there's the uh, cams out of our stamper. Now yeah, what? Went round, causing the stamps to go up and down, crushing the rock. So this is the actual site. You can see all the pegs and that in the woodwork in the. Uh, Sorry, side of the hill here. Okay, I reckon this is about as far as I'm going to be able to get. More stuff down there. Over there. There. It is an impressive sight all around. And their boiler. Bye. It's Ben. Okay, we're about to head out of here, so. One more little panoramic shot of this area. Absolutely fantastic. Well worth a look. As I said, you can come down here. It's open to the public. And it's not an arduous walk at all. Not at all. Just quickly look at this bridge. As you can see they've cut a cut into it and put that together along there. So the water is diverted. Very nice. Probably not for the river. Okay. And of course, one more look at that chimney. It just fascinates me. It really does. Alright, we'll continue on. Okay, as you can see, quick short walk out of here. And to your right, the old blacksmith shop. It's in here. Just below us here is the boiler. Is there a chimney? Yay! And if you look down here, quite a number of blacksmith relics. Thank you, Nike. Alright, we... right, we're just leaving the area. We just saw a little bit of a road heading off. And from down there we came. We just, just, just discovered this here. I don't think she's got long to go, she's on a quiet lane. Jump off that. Are you looking here? Artifacts. She obviously caught fire, as you can see. And she's on quiet lane, as you can see there. So yeah, she hasn't got long to go. Have a look at that. Melted glass. She burnt, that's how she's held it up there. Steel pole. So yeah, interesting little side note before we uh, head out of this place and go for some lunch in Walhalla. So yeah, very good. Okay, as we're coming out, you can see this nice little wall built here. Maybe you can't because of the sun, I don't know. I certainly can't because of the sun. <laughs> there we go. And if you just look up here, quickly, there's another chimney. So yeah, and we're heading up this road now, getting out of here. 
Right, we shall continue. Okay, here we are. We're back at the start. So basically, we've come from there, went up there, and then we went down there. And we did about a 4k trip. So, that pretty much ends this uh, journey. This is Toombin. An area I've been wanting to do for quite some time. And so now I have. So it's off for lunch at Walhalla, which is about 40k away. So see how long it takes. Have fun. Bye.